The Archer AX1500 is a Wi-Fi 6 router produced by TP-Link. Wi-Fi 6 is the latest generation of Wi-Fi technology, and it offers several improvements over previous versions, including faster speeds, lower latency, and better support for devices that are connected to the network simultaneously. Dual band connectivity, the router supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, allowing you to connect devices at a range of frequencies depending on your needs and the available bandwidth. OFDMA technology, OFDMA, Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access, is a new technology that is part of the Wi-Fi 6 standard and helps to improve the efficiency of the wireless network by allowing multiple devices to communicate with the router at the same time. Gigabit Ethernet Ports The router has 4 Gigabit Ethernet ports, which allow you to connect wired devices such as computers, gaming consoles, and smart TVs to the network. Parental Controls The Archer AX1500 includes built-in parental controls that allow you to set limits on internet usage, block inappropriate content, and set bedtimes for specific devices. Easy Setup the router comes with an easy-to-use web interface and a mobile app that make it simple to set up and manage the network. To set up your AX1500 Wi-Fi 6 router, you will need to follow these steps. Plug the router into an electrical outlet and connect the router to your modem using an Ethernet cable. Turn on the router and wait for the power LED to turn green. Connect to the router's Wi-Fi network from your computer or mobile device. The name of the Wi-Fi network and the password can be found on the label on the bottom of the router. Open a web browser and type 192.168.1.1 into the address bar. This will open the router's login page. Enter the username and password. The default username is admin and the default password is password. Follow the prompts to set up your Wi-Fi network, including giving the network a name and creating a password. Once the setup is complete, you should be able to connect your devices to the Wi-Fi network and access the internet. If you have any issues setting up your router, you may want to refer to the user manual or contact the manufacturer for assistance. You can see the place on your screen right now. After coming to this place, you need to customize the internet settings. The screen now shows the location from here you can change the LAN IPs as you wish. If your operator offers you IPTV then of course you can do that configuration from here. You can change the DHCP server configuration from here on your router if you want. If you want, you can access the router from your other location by adding dynamic DNS from here. If you want to change the static routing then of course you can do it from here. You can use Plink ID from this place and you have to come here to log into Plink ID. From here you can access all of your wireless settings. From here you can change your wireless network name and password. If you want to share your wireless network with your guests then you must turn on this option. Next is the option, Additional Settings, 
NAT forwarding, port forwarding, including some more essential options. If you subscribe to our channel and stay with our channel, then you will see detailed videos on all these topics very soon on our channel. New videos will be published on this channel regularly about what option works and how to do it so that the router will support you very well. Parental control through this option you can control how much internet is used by any mobile or any device in your network and which websites are visited and then you can give restrictions. QoS with this option you can control the speed that the devices on your network will receive. From security options you can control your router from outside traffic or inside traffic. You can easily install VPN on this router. You can install two types of VPN here, OpenVPN or PPTP. If your internet provider has provided you with IPv6 connection then you need to enable IPv6 from this option. It also contains system settings, firmware upgrade, backup and restore, administration, system log, diagnostics, time and language, reboot, LED control, operation mode, If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we strongly request you to subscribe and stay with us. Here we have tried to show details about the router if you like the video, our hard work will be worth it.